Remember that 24-hour flu you had last year? Well, there's no such thing as a 24-, 48-hour flu. There's no such thing as stomach flu. What you had was likely food poisoning. When someone gets hepatitis from eating a strawberry, the hepatitis didn't come from the strawberry. They don't even have little livers. As uh, Dr. McDougall likes to point out, when's the last time we heard of someone getting Dutch elm disease or, or a bad case of aphids? Food poisoning comes from animals, specifically animal feces, and that manure runoff can contaminate sprout seeds, spinach, and other healthy plant foods. Still, that's better than eating the manure directly. Animal products, particularly fish and poultry, can be covered in fecal bacteria. It's so bad that while the federal government recommends we wash our fruits and veggies, we're not even supposed to rinse meat and poultry for fear of the viral and bacterial splatter. Chicken carcasses so covered in fecal matter that researchers at the University of Arizona found more fecal bacteria in the kitchen, uh -uh, sponges, dish towels, and the sink drain, than they found swabbing the toilet. Even after bleaching everything twice, in a meat eater's house it is safer <laughs> to lick the rim of the toilet seat than the kitchen countertop, because people aren't preparing chickens in their toilets. <laughs> Frankly, you know that chicken juice isn't juice. It's essentially raw fecal soup. And in terms of fish hygiene, researchers swamped sushi for fecal bacteria. The National Food Standards Guidelines for Maximum Fecal Bacteria on Ready-to-Eat Food Items is 30,000. OK, well, this is what they found. They also swabbed vegetarian sushi, avocado, and, and cucumber rolls, and found zero contamination, zero fecal bacteria. Unlike salmon and tuna, avocados and cucumbers don't have rectums.